it's springtime in our patio courtyard. All the aspen are in full bloom. But that's not the purpose of this video. It's to show the project I've been working on. I just finished a very labor-intensive square foot garden. If you notice on the far side, there's parsley, basil, some rosemary, and in the far corner, four little dwarf marigolds. Coming back in a row, we have green peppers, and then a delicious red pepper, so they say, and zucchini. Over here, we have an acorn squash and an eggplant. And, of course, the ever-popular variety of tomatoes. Two larger fruit-bearing tomatoes and two of the variety that are designed for salads. Tried these last year, and when picked up the plants, asked a very important question. Will the birds bother our tomatoes? And the answer at the, at the nursery was unequivocally, no, it won't be a problem. Well, the first nine tomatoes went to the birds. They were pitching a perfect game shutout against the home team. So to combat the birds this year, as I move back, take a look at a square foot garden you will not see anywhere on the internet. This is bird netting on frames allowing entrance through this gate and where I can move in and about the square foot garden with plenty of headroom. Uh, the structure itself is probably at least seven feet in terms of headroom or more. You notice it is on a slight incline and that's because of the drip system for irrigation purposes. It has to be downhill because it's gravity fed out of this rain barrel. And in preparing the rain barrel to take the timer, the filter, and then the half inch hose down to the one quarter inch hose that goes to each of the plants, the barrel had to be raised anywhere from two feet to close to three feet. I opted for 32 inches and just couldn't stand the gray concrete. So if you notice, these are painted. That's an amber tawny. And over here we have southwest clay. All rain barrels are full. So we're looking at an excess of 150 gallons of rainwater that we can tap in to water our little garden. Now the hard part is done and maybe a bit harder will be patience for fruit to bear. Our square foot garden. You may have noticed that there is a piece of wire and lots of little twine. Well I completed the framing, saved the door, and I had just finished framing the door and brought it out to hang when I discovered that Sir Ollie, our prayful Brittany, has the architectural design element to his nature. Who knew? So he decided it needed a dog door, and in through it he went. Now, in Ollie's defense, I'm certain it was an accident, but nonetheless, to avoid taking all the framing down and reframing the bird netting, I opted for and kind of a homegrown look. Uh, it's uh, one by one galvanized after, after welding metal wiring, and that's with a patch piece of bird netting on the inside. No critters will get in except butterflies. And you may see a butterfly floating around in there. Well, not to worry. Uh, there were two just a moment ago. Uh, this may not be the brighter of the two because the one left and came back and showed him that, yes, all you have to do is just go up to the top, rest, and climb right on through. So we'll see how long he stays. But for right now, my plants, and particularly the little flowering guys are just going to love his presence. Go ahead, spread that nectar. Well, Ollie, what do you have to say for yourself? Not only did you help redesign the square foot garden, but today was a first. Well, yeah, it was a first. 
you tried it on your first day here to go over, climb up on the banco, and go over the wall. Hence the stones still exist today, almost, more than three years ago when you first arrived. But today, you got bored being in the courtyard for the last three, well, actually the last week. So you took it upon yourself to go up on this banco and remove these stones and jump to freedom and start working the yard. The good news is you didn't go far, plus you came back and were working right over here where I could see you and we had a nice little discussion. Now, Ollie, why is it that you've been kind of on a, a short lead, if you will, for the last week or so? Well, that is because you ripped the nail, and you have a little Band-Aid wrapped right there. You've been to the vet, had it changed, and it's making great progress. As a matter of fact, you can have it off tomorrow, and you'll be full tilt boogie ready to go. But I know you took it into your own self, just uh, took it on your own advisement, just as you did the redesign element on the square foot garden, now it's Dr. Ollie, and you decided you were ready to go outside and look for salamanders and mice and other little critters. Plus, seeing those two quail this morning probably just tipped you right over the edge. But now you're back in here, and I know you won't do that again for at least another three years, right, Ollie? Okay, well, tomorrow you get the band aid off, and then Ollie can go out and play. So. I think you kind of settled down and, and you're back into your good old form. Would you like a snack? Oh yeah, let's go get a snack. <laughs>